Hi friends, my name is Shitaj and today I'm going to give you a brief overview on a very important fund that is called an ETF, that is called an exchange traded fund. What is an ETF? So in this short video, I'm going to discuss some technical terms about this fund that is called ETF, why it is important and how it is being operated, okay, and how you're going to grow your money with that, okay, very simple term. Now, before going towards uh, understanding uh, to, towards getting in cognizance about this term called an ETF. Let's try to discuss a uh, first uh, term that is called a fund. What is a fund? The fund is actually a money. So different investors will be uh, will be giving their money to, to certain companies. That company is called an asset management company. Okay. And then there would be a one particular fund manager of that asset management company. That fund manager is going to do the market research. And based on uh, the market research and the market analysis, he is going to whatever the money he is actually getting from the different investors, he is going to invest that money in different stocks, different investment schemes, and he will actually grow that money. And whatever the profit is going to get, that profit will be shared among the different investors. So that is a simple funda of fund. Okay, that is a simple funda of fund. Now, what is ETF? Okay. This particular asset management company who has appointed a fund manager who is doing everything for you, okay? So certainly uh, he will charge certain fee from the investor because he is doing the market research, he is accountable to that, you are not going to get loss, okay? So de uh, depending upon his market analysis and the research, you know, mar marketing, advertising and all those kind of aspects will be associated with that. Okay, so he's going to charge us a certain fees from the investor and that fee is actually called an expense ratio. So this is the first term you have to understand expense ratio. So expense ratio is basically a fee which is being charged by the fund manager from the different investors when he's going to invest your money in different investment scheme. Okay, now we have discussed about what is a fund and now we will discuss about an exchange traded fund. You would have heard about the different indexes. We are having NSC, we have a Sensex, we have a BSC. These are the different indexes. So these are not the stocks. You are not actually investing in these indexes. These indexes are actually reflecting what is the mood of the market. Okay, how the market is going up, whether the market is going down. Okay, it's just reflecting a mood of the market. Okay, now, um, if there is a company, so the ETF is a different kind of mechanism in which you are giving your money to an asset management company. The fund manager which is appointed by an asset management company, what the fund manager is going to do, uh, how he is going to place your money in, with reference to the Nifty. That we have to understand. So Nifty, let's uh, understand Nifty. Nifty is an index. Now Nifty is having 50 companies okay, in its portfolio. So Nifty is actually giving an indication how those 50 companies are performing in the market, okay? How those 50 companies are performing in the market, just giving an indication. So, so at every company in this particular portfolio, this 50 companies portfolio, every company would be having a certain weightage, okay? For example, Reliance would be having around 9%, LGFC would be having around 7%, something like that. So every company in the Nifty portfolio would be having certain weightage, means, how much money Reliance is invested in this whole market share of Nifty? So 9% is the weightage of the Reliance. 9% money we have invested in the whole market share of the Nifty. And all the companies which are there in the Nifty are really good companies. Uh, they are really profitable companies. They are growing companies. Okay. So if you are going to invest in certain stocks with reference to how the Nifty is actually performing then definitely you would be having a good chance to grow your money so that is the whole fund of exchange traded fund so what the fund manager is going to do he is going to get the money from the investors based on how much is the weighted how much is the weightage of that particular company in nifty like if reliance is having a nine percent of the weightage he is going to invest nine percent similarly if the sgsc bank is having a seven percent is going to invest seven percent Okay, in this way, depending upon the weightage of the companies, he's going to invest uh, based on uh, how it is being there in the Nifty. So whatever the money, okay, whatever the money he's investing, that money 
uh, the uh, it's actually reflecting how the ETF is actually how the Nifty is actually performing. If the Nifty is going up, then your Nifty ETF is also going up. Similarly, if Nifty is going down, your Nifty ETF is also going down. So, is it a very interesting thing? Okay, so there are the different kind of uh, ETF stocks that we are going to discuss in a different video. So, in this particular video, I just giving you a glimpse about what is actually an exchange traded fund. Another two important terms what we can understand one is called an active management company and another is called the passive management company, uh, passive management fund or active management fund. Okay. Uh, there is one to, to a particular technical term that is called a tracking error. If you are assuming that whatever returns you are going to get in the Nifty ETF is going to match how the Nifty is actually being, how the Nifty is actually performing in the market, whether it's going to match, it's not going to happen. Okay, there would be some ups and downs. Okay, so that particular ups and downs is called a tracking error. Okay, now, now uh, the fee, what we are going to give to the asset manager, the fund manager of the asset management company, will be definitely lower in this case. That is for an exchange traded fund. Why the fee is lower? Because the fund manager, he need not to do a very big market research. He has to just continuously monitor, meticulously monitor uh, how the uh, Nifty is actually going. Okay. Well, what is the percentage or the weightage of the different companies in the Nifty and how it is being performing. So over a period of time, how it's going to perform. So in this way, he need not to do very good market research okay so definitely he's going to charge a less fee so that's why fee in this case what you are going to give to the asset management company when you are using when you are actually investing in exchange traded fund would be definitely a lower lower fee you will be giving okay so that is a very important advantage of exchange traded fund another important aspect what i was discussing before that's one active management company active managed fund or passive managed fund what is an active management fund in which the fund manager is going to do active research how he is going to grow the money of the investor he has to do active research the market analysis everything and the another aspect is called the passive management fund so this exchange traded fund what we just talked about it is actually a passive management fund 